Hi guys, so today we're going to be doing a haul. I just tried to film this in my nerd glasses that I showed you in my last haul and the glare, if you can see, was absolutely horrible. So I have to do this again. So this is just going to be the things that I've picked up over the past week, maybe a little bit less than a week. Um, so it's like three shopping trips. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started with, I guess, the least exciting, which is my phone case. This is a life proof case and um, I had an order box and it was okay, but it was just really bulky, and it was just hard, like, you can't put it in your pocket. So this one case makes it just taller and not, like, thicker, like, it's still really thin. But it has the same protection as an OtterBox, but it also protects your phone from, I think it said water, sand, dirt, and something else. So, like, you can walk in the pool with this phone, or with this case, and your phone will be fine. I feel like I should turn this a little bit. And, um... So yeah, so I figured I might as well have this because I hate going to the beach like in the summertime and having sand get all in your phone and your phone case. So this is protective of that. So that's awesome. So I recommend you check these out because they're amazing. Um, the next thing is like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. So we went to Sam's Club on Saturday with my parents and I picked up the Hunger Games books because everybody's talking about them and I figured I might as well just see if it's like really worth it. But there was something on there. But um. I read through this in just a couple hours and I'm obsessed. This is so good. I cannot wait. Me and my best friend Kelsey are going to go see this on Thursday. And I'm so excited. I can't even explain to you how excited I am about this. So, like I said, I finished that in just a couple hours. So then last night me and my mom went to Walmart and I bought the next two. So Catching Fire and Mockingjay. So this is the second one and I'm already on page 90. But I'm really trying to slow myself down because I don't want to... Um, rush through this one like I did with the first one because I'm trying to make it last. I'm just going to set those back there. Um, because there's only three and that's like it. There is no more coming out. So I'm probably going to be devastated when it's over. So whatever. You need to go read the Hunger Games books because they're awesome. And I keep looking over there in the mirror, but I need to look at the camera. So next thing is just these um, white shorts from Hollister and they have like the blue trim on the bottom. And uh, my sister and my mom went to Hollister and they asked me if I wanted shorts because these were on clearance I think for like $10. And um, I said sure, but the only ones they had in this color was a medium and I usually wear a small. So they're a little bit big but they're good to just like hang out in the house in so I can't really complain. So the next thing is just, it's not like super exciting, but I needed them because I just got rid of my old black um, high heels that were just like plain black heels. So I went to Charlotte Russe and I just got these ones and um, it was, these ones were like on sale or something for like $20 and they're just a suede and they're just, they have like a thicker heel so that's why I like these ones better. And yeah, um, apparently Charlotte Russe doesn't have half sizes. And my feet have officially shrunk. Um, I used to wear seven and a halfs, and now sevens are big on me. So I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna set that back there. And then the next shoes, I also got a seven in. Well, these ones were like perfectly sized though, so maybe I don't know what's going on. So these are like my new obsession, and I can't even explain to you how in love with them I am. They are my new Michael Kors. Um, sandals for summer and springtime they're like a bronzy and then they have like the michael kors logo right there in gold and then it just has like all the stuff and then the buckle right there and they're like jelly so they're really really comfy and uh, i just think that they're so much nicer than like a regular sandal like a plastic or a whatever sandal like a foam sandal just because these ones are still like nicer without having to wear like um flats like ballet flats or anything like that so I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I'm obsessed with Michael Kors. I love anything that he makes. He could seriously make water bottles and I would buy them or whatever. Something even dumber than that and I would buy them. Okay, so the next, um, I don't even know how many things, are all my beauty products. And this is from three different trips. Um, I'll explain to you like where I got each of them because I kind of put them all in like my Sephora bag. But only like five of them are from Sephora. So... Firstly, I got this Nivea Sunkiss Radiant Skin Gradual Tanner and Daily Lotion for medium to dark skin. And I know I'm not medium to dark skin, but the light to medium ones never do anything for me. So I decided to try this one out. And I tested it on my arm, like right here, but I don't really see a huge difference. But I see some, so I'm going to keep giving this, um, I'm going to give this a go for like a good week or so. And then I'm going to let you guys know what I think. So, 
yeah, I'll, I can do a review if anybody wants to see this because I know it sucks to find self tanners because some of them just don't work. And yeah, so I got that from Walmart last night. And then I also got these makeup wipes from Kroger's last week sometime. Um, they're just the, the regular Neutrogena makeup remover wipes because these are the ones that I always use and I ran out. So maybe some new ones. Um, I guess I'll just go through with the rest of the stuff that I got from Kroger's. So the next thing I got from there is this nail polish from Revlon in the color Dreamer. And it's what I have on my nails right now. It just looks like that. And it's um, a periwinkle color and it matches my shorts that I bought from Forever 21. Which you probably saw if you watched that haul with me and David in it. So, if not, you can go look at those now, but it matches that perfectly. I got a Baby Lips um, Chapstick in Quenched. So, this one is just clear, but it smells really good, and it tastes really good, too. So, and I needed just a clear one, so I figured why not. Actually, I'm going to put that on right now. Okay. So, the next thing I got... Oh, i got to get down in here and get these. Um, I got the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Fast Dry Nail Color in... Snappy Sorbet. This is actually the only one that I haven't wear worn yet. So it's like corally, orangey, pinky goodness. So, yeah. And then I got the um, Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Nail, Col Nail, Nail Color in Mint Sorbet. This is, um, I asked Nikki the Brat in her style file what color she was wearing on her nails. And she told me is it one. It was this one. So I ran out and I got it and I think it's gorgeous. And then the last thing that I got from Kroger's, everything's falling now, is the Almay Smart Shade Perfect and Correct Primer. I said that right. Okay, so I'm going to pull this out really fast. Let me find it. Um, so I have the Stila One Step Correct um, Skin Tone Brightening, Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Serum. So this is like $30 and this is like $10. So I wanted to get them both and decide which one I like better because if I like this one better, I'm obviously going to go get it. But if you guys want to know about this, just let me know so I can let you guys know what I think. Um, let's see. The next thing I got from Walmart last night, and it is Bio Oil. And this is for, it says, Specialist Moisturizer for Scars, Stretch Marks, Uneven Skin Tone, Aging Skin, and Dehydrated Skin. And it just looks like that little bottle right there. And it's like pinky, kind of. I don't know, but I have really dry skin and I have acne scars, so I figured that I would just get that. So we did. And then the rest of the stuff is just from Sephora. Um, I got a white nail polish that was on clearance for $3. It just looks like that. I got a Duo Lash Adhesive in white and clear because everyone always talks about this and they always say how it's like the best one. And um, I don't know why I thought somebody was out there. Um, so I figured I might as well give it a try because I had the Ardell, I think, lash glue. And it just never, like, sits on my eyelash or my eyelids right or, like, eyelashes, whatever. So I figured, whatever, I'm just going to go with this and give it a go and see if that helps me out any. I'm not really sure. And then this isn't super exciting, but it's just a fragrance atomizer from Sephora as well. And I think this was on clearance for $3, too. So... Um, I figured I would just get it so I could put like a perfume in my um, purse because I don't have like many travel size ones and if I do they're mostly like the ones that like the top pops off and I don't really feel safe having that in my purse so bought this one and then I got the Kores or Kors I never know how to say this because when I think of Kors I think of Michael Kors again um, but I got the lip butter in mango I guess I could open it for you and um I had the rose, the wild rose one, but I didn't really like it. I don't know why I picked that one out of all the other ones. It just looks like that. It's like orangey. It's really pretty and it smells really good too. But I picked the wild rose one out like, I don't even know how long ago. Maybe like two years ago and I have no idea why I chose that. Because every other scent smells better than that one. So now I got this one. I really wanted the, um, was it guava? I think it was guava, but they didn't have any more left. So I just got this one. And then the last thing is just my Urban Decay Isotope Primer Potion in Eden. I've never had this one. I always get the original one, and I've never had the ones in the squeeze bottle. So I figured that I would try this out. And I'm pretty sure this one is um, has, like, a pigmentation to it, like a nude pigmentation. So I have, like, it almost looks like veins right here. So there's, like, some blue, like, up by my... I don't know if that's normal to have, like, veins up there. But, um, and it just never, like, the eyeshadow doesn't cover it up. So I'm hoping that this will help me, um fix that because it'll just cover that instead of having to put like concealer up there and stuff so 
yeah so i think that is it for my haul oh and i bought this shirt from gabe's because i thought that the color was pretty and that was just a couple of dollars anyway so i think that is it that's all i can think of right now so if i forgot anything i'll leave i'll put a picture after this but i really don't think that i did so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you later bye